Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. And today we are doing Lip Hono Demonstrati. And before that, I posted a video on adjective demonstrative. If you do not know what are adjective demonstrative or do you have any doubt, go and watch that video. I have shared the link in the description box. Check that video, learn adjective demonstrative and then come back to this video. Because if you know about adjective demonstrative, it would be easier for you to understand this concept and uh, it would be clear. Then le prono demonstrative are the pronoun which are used to replace a noun. Normally, which is preceded by a demonstrative adjective. I'm saying normally, not always. Sometimes there must be some numbers and uh, articles are articles are not possible before that. There, there can be number or demonstrative adjective before the noun, which we are going to replace with a prono. Where do we use prono? Pronos are basically used to avoid the repetition of a noun. All type of prono. Prono demonstrative, prono possessive, prono personnel. We use to avoid the repetition of something. So, and remember, these prono agree in gender and number with the noun. How they get agree and uh, agree in gender and number of a noun? Because when there is masculine noun, we have a different word, different prono for that. When there is a feminine noun, we have a different prono for that. When there is masculine singular, that is different. Feminine singular is different. So for masculine singular, we have selvi. For feminine singular, we have sel. For masculine plural, this selvi will change to sir. For feminine plural, this cell will change to cell with s. Basically, we add s to cell. And there are two types of prono demonstrative. Two types of prono. I mean, there, there is simple prono and composite prono. Now, what is simple prono and what is composite prono? Simple prono is when there is no C and la. Composite prono when there is C and la. Now, how will you get to know if any prono is simple? Where do we use sim simple one and where do we use composite one? Simple one is used when there is the, ka, ki, or don after the blank then you will use simple. What are simple? Selvi, sir, cell, cell. These are simple one. And these prono pronouns come when there is the, ke, ki, don. Are there after the blank. So, and now let's see compose. Where do we use compose? When there is no such words, the, ke, ki, or no words are not there after the blank, then we are going to use composite one. So what are composite? Selvi C for masculine. Selvi C, cell C for feminine. C, C for masculine plural. Cell C for feminine plural. Selvi C and cell C means this one. And C, C and cell C means these one. Selvi La. And cell la, cell v la is masculine singular, cell, cell la is feminine singular. These means, these two words mean that one. And cell la, and cell la, these words mean those one. So let's see the example of sample one. Regarde the saison fond la bas, ce qui sont dans la chambre. Look at these children over there who are in the bedroom the one who are in the bedroom so you will see the na noun where is the noun you will check the noun this is the noun for which we have to replace we have to use pronoun so 
gender what is the gender of this thing ovo it's masculine right and it is written in plural form so you will go to masculine plural and you will take sir from here because the blank is followed by key key is one of them so we are going to use sample one and masculine plural second example is jam bia se ho major prefer dash k nu javo ashate lasaman proshen now i like these dresses but i prefer the one which we bought last week so you you are going to replace ho with a pronoun ho is feminine this feminine it is written in plural but the person prefers the dress the dress no dresses which they bought last week so we are going to use feminine singular this one sell we can use feminine plural too because we are not sure they are not they haven't specified if the dress is singular or the plural you can use sell or sell both so i like these dresses but the dresses plural dresses also we can say we bought last week that i prefer so both will work sell or sell okay now compose when there is no the k ki do word after the blank we are going to use compose compose is with c or la and now s c and s la where what is the difference between sell we see sell we or s sell or s c sell la these are the words which we use when the gender of the noun is specified right as we saw here enfant masculine robe feminine but when gender of something is not specified then you are going to use ceci or cela ceci this cela that so ceci and cela are used to replace a sentence on an idea or the thing with the gender who the gender of which anything is not specified then we use ceci and cela so example is ceci me fait plaisir this makes me happy cela me fait plaisir that makes me happy because here the gender of the noun is not specified what the what the thing the person is talking about now sa sa is used in familiar language as well as in spoken language we can say don moi sa don moi cela we can use either but this sa, sa is not a formal language this is familiar language cela you can use it. formally or informally in both ways okay now let us do an exercise and i chose an exercise from cbsc sample paper so we are doing this exercise complete avec les adjectifs ou les pronoms démonstratifs c s que dash sandwich c sont plus frais que dash dash sandwich sandwich is masculine and plural as well so what is the word for masculine plural s c e u x s and plus uh, frais que cela these sandwiches are these sandwiches fresher than those one s la sorry 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 this one is a noun right before a noun we always write adjective before a noun we always write adjective we always write adjectives and before when there is no noun after the blank we always write pronoun here there is no noun after the blank and there is a noun after the blank so when there is a noun after the blank we will use adjective when there is no noun after the blank we will use pronoun next voila the boom je vais dash et Tu dois aller 
dash a dash voila the boom the two parties boom is feminine so i'm going to this one you are going to that one we are going to use singular feminine so cell hyphen c it is necessary to put hyphen ale a cell la na shet pa dash a shet dash here what are we going to use anyone has any idea here gender of the noun is not specified they are simply saying don't buy this by that don't buy this one by that one or don't buy this by that so gender is not specified so we are going to use sisni and sala this sisni for neutral sisni and sala tu le jon ta ton dash ki now look here after the blank there is ki when there is ki we will use sample one jon is plural masculine so we are going to use sir and sir right because here we are using for jon and plural na shet pa dash homo homo is masculine sir and it's a noun so we are going to use adjective demonstrative jemre bien acheter selvi la don't buy this novel i would like to buy that one so if you have any doubt in this exercise or in any rule you can ask me in comment section and thank you everyone for staying to the video and uh, please don't forget to like the video and if you are new to this channel subscribe our channel thank you so much